Mexico has become the largest exporter to the United States this year after overtaking China, with 15% of US imports in July, compared to China's 14.6%. The change reflects the ongoing decoupling between China and the West, and has its roots in Trump-era tariffs, securing strategic supply chains, and a reluctance from companies to be reliant on one supplier after extended Chinese closures over the past two years. This news is also positive for Mexico, bringing increased foreign investment and new jobs. Earlier this month, Tesla announced a $15 billion investment in a new factory in the north of the country. The news follows Mexico becoming the US's largest trading partner at the beginning of the year, with Mexico representing 15.4% of bilateral trade, compared to Canada's 15% and China's 12. The change is in large part due to a decline in imports from China, with US-Chinese trade declining dramatically after tariffs were introduced in 2018 under the Trump administration. These tariffs remain in effect, and according to the Peterson Institute for International Economics, cover 66.4% of Chinese exports to the US and 58.3% of US exports to China. Chinese tariff rates on US exports sit just over 21%, with US tariff rates at 19.3%. Increasing sanctions and export restrictions between China and the US are also a significant factor. The US banned the export of its most advanced microchips to China, but also persuaded Japan and Holland to stop exports of certain chip fabrication equipment and banned US citizens from working for Chinese semiconductor companies. All these factors further deter investment and trade, but the US also directly banned US investment in parts of the Chinese tech sector. This decoupling is not all government-led, however. US companies are themselves wary of being so reliant on one source of production, both from the possibility of further sanctions or export restrictions, as well as shutdowns similar to those seen over the past two years. Apple, for example, produces 95% of its products in China, which has led to attempts to diversify its supply by building MacBooks in Vietnam and iPhones in India. With so many companies looking for alternatives to production in China, it makes sense to look to the country on the US's southern border. In addition to Tesla's 15 billion factory in Mexico, Hewlett-Packard, the largest computer manufacturer outside of China, is moving production to Thailand, Vietnam and Mexico. This follows Dell's commitment to stop using chips made in China by 2024, Dell's decision comes in part over uncertainty over access to the latest chips after increasing sanctions between the US and China. Dell also plans to move 50% of its production outside of China by 2025. And as larger companies go, smaller companies will follow. After Tesla's decision to build a plant in Mexico, Chinese Tesla suppliers were told they may lose business without a presence in Mexico themselves, which resulted in 20 Chinese suppliers announcing plans to build factories in Mexico. But an odd byproduct of this increasing antagonism between the US and China is that some Chinese companies are choosing to shift production to Mexico independently. Taking advantage of the United States' free trade deal with Mexico, they're able to produce and sell goods to US customers without paying the tariff that would come with a Made in China label. Whether these huge shifts in global production and trade are ultimately called nearshoring, decoupling, de-risking, or something else, a clear trend has developed, and for multiple independent reasons that go beyond tariffs. With increasing sanctions, export restrictions, and no thaw in US-China relations in sight, this trend looks likely to continue.